Okay, I'm back with another update on my VR experiments. So this time I worked a little bit on two things. Uh, one thing was walking upstairs. I realized I could not walk upstairs. That was kind of a, an issue. Let me just turn down the sound. And the other thing was uh, some stuff I did with finger tracking. So that is highly experimental at the moment, but still I wanted to show this off uh, in this video. So let me just, no, not that one, this one. Okay. So let me just get it on. Okay, I hope you can see me, mm. I guess. Anyway, when I look down myself now, it's jittering quite a bit. And for some reason it does that when I record. I haven't seen it do that uh, when I just play it without recording. I guess it's something with the timing and starts to lag or something. So maybe this is also an issue when I run this on a, a less capable machine. Uh, I haven't really tested that out. Anyway, if some of you try this out, eventually uh, let me know if it's uh, lacking or jittering like you see here. Because it's definitely not doing that normally. Anyway, we have the stairs here. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can see I can walk up these stairs and I can also walk down these stairs here. And I, this white stair has a like a flat collision volume, kind of like uh, this one over here. So this was not really working that well in the previous version. You would kind of jump down constantly and that looked really um, strange. So the other one, the gray one here with the default material, you can see it kind of jump up and down and that is, and make a jump towards the end also. And that is because it has the, the default stair collision. And I haven't, I'm not uh, handling that at the moment. I need to sort that out still. So that is still a work in progress, but at least I can get up and down uh, stairs now. That's a big improvement. So the other thing I worked on was the finger tracking. So you can see here, uh, whenever I grab things, the, the hand doesn't just penetrate, like make a, a fist. So what happens is that it's, once it gets within a certain reach, it will try and adjust itself. So right now it, it doesn't because it's moving. But if we do it like this, you can see that it's actually trying to follow. So I hope you can see this. So I'm just holding the trigger down and the fingers are gonna try and track uh, along the surface of this cube here. So this, the left hand has one behavior and the right one currently has a, a different behavior. So the right one uh, kind of does something like um, keeping the fingers that he can't hit anything with uh, straight. That allows you to pick things up like this, kind of pinching them. And the other one does this so it curls up gradually but uh, still with the fingers that can reach it while attached to the, uh, the object so I can't really decide which one I like the best I think this one is the most natural one I don't know if you can hear it, but somebody is having a party upstairs. <laughs> anyway, so this is, um, I can make this really small, maybe. See if I can, small. Yeah. So it's a little bit buggy still. It doesn't always pick up the position that well. But it definitely beats it just, uh, you know, penetrating the mesh as it did before. So it's still, as you can see, it still needs quite a bit of work, but 
well, it's uh, it looks pretty convincing, I would say, uh, for one evening's work. You can still do things like this, which is maybe okay, I guess. Like, I don't know if I could pick thing, things up like this in, in reality, but anyway, this is virtual reality, so who cares? And yeah, that's a little bit, you can see, I can still do things like this because the collision is, or well, the logic for picking things up, I haven't really written that. But eventually, I'm gonna do that. Right. So, for those of you who haven't seen the climbing, uh, I got some feedback on that as well. So, wait, what is going on with that? Okay. Um, so, I made it so that if you put your hand inside a, a climbing hold, you can't grab onto it. But Oops. But if you touch it on the top of it, I don't know if you can hear that, but then it's going to say, okay, you can you can climb here or on corners like this. So you have to angle your hands. And it's a bit difficult. I have to say that I saw my daughter try this out and along with the feedback I got. Uh, and I think I'm thinking I'm going to rewrite some of this stuff here. Because just because I can use this doesn't mean that everybody can so eventually I'm gonna try and, and revisit this although yeah for me it seems pretty uh, intuitive but then again as a developer <laughs> this is I'm not definitely not the best uh, test person Oops. Yeah, and as you see, all the jittery stuff, I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen normally, or at least if you have a pretty you know, capable machine, it should happen. Shouldn't happen. So my machine is a, the graphics card is a uh, Nvidia 570, so it's not like it's a, the best or the worst, but kind of in the middle, and I'm also running. Uh, the recording uh, along this in OPS, so I guess that is the reason why it's it's lagging a little bit. So that was what I had to show for this time. Uh, I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think. Uh, stay tuned because uh, soon I will upload a uh, a downloadable downloadable version of this, so you can try this out yourself and hopefully you will uh, give me some feedback on some of these things and especially i'm interested in bug reports of any kind so yeah please let me know and thank you bye for now